Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Third Thoughts. In this episode, we're going to be talking about everything WandaVision related. WandaVision episode 5 just came out. And before this video gets started, big fat spoiler warning on here because we are going to be going in depth and talking about all the details in the newest episode of WandaVision. This upcoming Friday, I will be posting another video at 5 in the morning the WandaVision spoiler free review. I get those out early in the morning just for you guys. So make sure you guys check those out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn notifications on so you get notified anytime I go live or I upload a new video on the channel. But without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. As always, as tradition on Third Thoughts, Brentley, what were your thoughts on episode five of WandaVision? Mm. This episode was just crazy. Like from like from the beginning, like from the like the intro scene, like that starts off with them so, like with Agnes saying, Oh, do you want to do that again or something like that? Like, that was already crazy. I was like, what's going on? And then just the way it ended, of course, with Quicksilver from the X-Men movies, that was, it was, this is probably, I don't know, I'd be episode three is probably my favorite still, but this is definitely, like, probably second. I'm gonna go with this one is definitely my favorite, just because, I'll see anything, bro, this, this episode was almost 30 minutes long. Oh, that's true. I think it was 30 minutes long. It was, like, 33 because the the whole entirety of the episode was forty one, and this by itself the episode was thirty three, not including the post credit, the, the credits and all that. But dude, they it felt like so short because they packed so much in there. Like, yeah, it, I agree. Dude, <laughs> it felt so. They felt like there was so much going on. Obviously, we had Wanda leaving her little bubble. We had Wanda leaving Westview, which is also <laughs> literally blew my mind. That is when we, I feel like we got our first look at Scarlet Witch. It wasn't even Wanda anymore, bro. What was going through your mind when you saw all those lasers pointed at her, bro? I thought she was about to get dropped or something. And then she's going to like reverse like Matrix stuff. I thought she was going to like drop all the bullets. And dude, I thought it was going to go crazy. What did you think of that? Like that whole sequence, bro? I mean, I think, yeah, that was just shows like her kind of her attitude at, like, at this moment. The fact that she's just so angry and she just wants to stay in her own bubble and She's like, it was just so cool. Like, it was a totally different person to seeing her come out of her reality and confront Sword like that. And them kind of just back off. I think that they kind of have a sense of how powerful she is now. Of course, they talked about it earlier in the episode with her and Thanos and stuff like that. So, I mean, they know like they can't really do anything against her at the moment. Yeah. So, it's I mean, I feel like how Sword reacts to that. Later I think on. the I think the way they're gonna like react. I mean, obviously, we talked about this earlier, bro. But like, Strange, man. Like, I really think that Strange is the key to all of this, and because he's like the he's like the second most other than like Captain Marvel, and we already know Rambo has some sort of beef with her. I don't know if it's beef or it's just sensitive because of what happened to her mom. But dude, the, someone's gonna have to step in. Sword can't do this themselves. One thing that a lot of people like didn't really uh, like look like look into detail in this episode was the dog um i forgot the dog's name i'm sorry about that but i did forget the dog's name but let's talk about the the agnes theory with the dead dog you want to explain that or you want me to take that <laughs> you you can take that one you, you tell me all right, all right. so basically the theory is i mean most of you who are watching this probably know this but the theory is that when agnes brought that little cage thing to the dog to the kids to wanda's twins um and then she was, she, she, people are saying that she was trying to uh, get the dogs to stay at Wanda's house. And then um, she kind of knew that if the kids were in grief, they were going to grow up. Cause remember the kids can like kind of grow up at whatever pace they want. So uh, she, people are saying that the theory is like, she's going to, she's going to kill the dogs so that the kids can grow up. She ended up killing the dogs. And then the kids were like, Oh, we just want to grow out of this. And, and Agnes saw the kids grow or the, she saw the kids grow once she didn't say anything so obviously she knows there's something with the kids growing so I thought like she's doing it on purpose just so that the kids get older and then Mephisto can take over their body what do you think of that theory bro I mean I think that's definitely likely I mean I do think that Agnes is definitely like manipulating stuff like for her own reasons I mean I don't know exactly what those, what those reasons are yet obviously because they haven't like really said it but yeah I didn't really think that Agnes is the one that kind of knows all that's going on. Like, I think even Wanda doesn't know everything that's really happening. Sword doesn't know, obviously, everything that's happening. But I think Agnes is like the main, like, key person. She knows, like, exactly what's happening. That Quicksilver, we got to mention the mirror, bro. I mean, okay, Brentley said it could have just been the lighting. <laughs> it could have just been the lighting. I think so, but what's, man. Dude, what's the fun in, what's the fun in theorizing about lighting? So people are saying that in the mirror, whenever uh, Wanda and Pietro are hugging each other, right before they start hugging each other, in the back mirror behind Wanda, you can see where Pietro's like sleeve ends, 
there's a little, there's like red basically. So people are saying in the mirror, you could see the red and people are saying that, that, that Piedro is a Mephisto. So Mephisto basically took the body of Piedro to get closer to Wanda. And that could also explain why he took a different body. Because also remember Wanda was just as surprised as us when he showed up. Like she was just as shook. Cause remember she told Vision that, oh, I didn't do this. And Vision didn't believe her at first. Um, I mean, I still, we still never got Vision's reaction. Oh my God, I just yeah. remembered. Because Vision doesn't know who that is. Oh yeah. my God. And she, we never got like the end of Vision's reaction because it cut to a uh, sword. Oh my. What do you do? What do you think of that theory? I, I know you're not the biggest fan of that one. Okay. I mean, honestly, like, I mean, I just don't think that's like probably what happened. But I mean, I'm also partially a little bit in denial too. I just don't want that to be the case. I feel like that would kind of buzz in my opinion. Like, having the first fox character not actually even be a fox like be the actual person i feel like i'll kind of like kill the moment in but the i feel like it showed that he's still a, it, it, it'll be cool too no but it shows that he's still a real human remember because uh, he mephisto has to take the body of a real person so the fox character would still be real no matter what it would just be that in wanda's alternate reality mephisto has taken the over the body of evan peters piedro that's I think that's where you're thinking wrong, because he's supposed to be alive. I guess. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true that he was still have to be alive. I I, mean, I don't okay, know. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think I was personally like, I just can't. Uh, I <laughs> I mean, because I, I really like how the story like if he couldn't like if there's some like rule or some like some way that he couldn't get in, so he has to, like just try to do everything he can to try to get the kids without actually getting inside the area. But I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think if that's the case, then we're definitely have to lean. Then we definitely have to lean towards the Agnes theory. If that, if we're, yeah. if we're speaking towards like Mephisto's kind of can't get inside. What do you think about that? That the Luke Skywalker level cameo that Elizabeth Olsen talked about. I genuinely hope this isn't what what the cameo was, but I know Brantley, you have a lot to speak on it, bro. Go let loose. I mean, I just don't. I mean, I think it was more for like for promotion purposes. Like, I can't compare this Luke. As Luke Skywalker, like that cameo for like the Star Wars fan and stuff was just so big. Like this was cool too. It's like the first kind of like crossover we we've had. So this this is pretty big, but I don't know if it's on the same level. But this is still a cool cameo, nonetheless. I mean, if it's a different cameo, that's cool. If this was the cameo, I mean, I'm fine with it. I mean, it's a little overhyped in my opinion from Elizabeth Olsen, but I mean, it's still pretty cool. Personally, I didn't mind it, but I definitely hope that. I mean, this is obviously going to go into the next segment of the video, but dude, Magneto. <laughs> dude if we get magneto bro if we get magneto dude i need that's my that was my pick my pick for the actual cameo was actually toby mcguire at first but uh i talked to i talked to some guy today i was talking to this guy on twitter and he was like toby and andrew never actually got confirmed for the movies obviously we're gonna speculate that they're gonna be in them like you know from seeing set like some like we saw like uh toby mcguire at some set thing people are saying that it was in atlanta we saw An andrew garfield's postmates delivery stuff went down <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all of that went down but we still have no legitimate confirmation so we don't know if they're going to tease him or if we're going to tease them right now but i could see toby mcguire still popping up at the end of wandavision if she like rips a reality or something uh, that would be crazy. Yeah, just like right at the end, of that would be like a post credit scene, maybe or something. That would be Bro, crazy. even if we just saw like, if we saw like a rip in the reality, and it was like fading back and forth, I guess, and it was just you just saw their suits. Like even that yeah. would be enough for me. Like you see their suits hanging in their closet. Bro, no, that would no. be nuts. Like like retired Tobey Maguire, because he, he'd, he'd be like way too old by now. We always talk, we always end up talking about Spider-Man 3 multiverse. We always end up talking about it on third thoughts. But Brelly, what do you think about, we always hate how, when Spider-Man has mentors. What do you think if old Tobey Maguire is his mentor, but he never actually like fights next to him? Like he's just like, he's always just there like mentally, I guess. Because let's just say his Spider-Man is like crippled. Like he can still fight, but like not really. Like he can fight enough to, make a little impact would you want that i, mean, I wouldn't be against it but i thought like we already saw that with like spider-verse like it's based like into spider-verse it's kind, of, it's kind of the same thing of that peter mentoring miles and stuff like that and i feel like it was kind of be that but in like live action with tom hall and spider no no but i but think it'd be it much be i think it'd be much different because that miles morales literally got his powers and had to learn how to use them in the first place 
Like okay. Spider-Man's already fought against Thanos and Vulture and Mysterio. Like he's already fought against everyone in the MCU. That's so I feel like it's going to be more, maybe it's going to be more like teaching that great power with, come, with great power comes great responsibility. Maybe that's like the, I mean, I don't know, bro. Cause it seems like Sony's going to go for more than just three movies with, uh, with Tom Holland's Spider-Man. It seems like he's the next, it feels like he is the one like that. Sony's kind of putting him up on that pedestal, especially with all the stuff they have planned out for him. So like, yeah, I don't know, bro. Like there's so much they can do with this character. I just hope they don't mess it up. I mean, we literally say this every single episode, Sony, if you're, you're not listening to this, but if you are, please, for God's sake, fire John Watts, get us a good director and just give us a good Spider-Man movie. Because obviously you couldn't deliver with Homecoming. You, you did the bare minimum in Far From Home. And even then, it was just a teenage rom com. You can tell us your WandaVision theory now. <laughs> All right, so it's not like my theory, but it's just kind of like a combination, obviously, just stuff I've seen like on oh, the internet. Oh, like, wait, 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 before, but wait, wait, before you go on, oh, yeah. one, read the one, the text, the one you texted me today first. Read that one first. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's basically like, it's basically what I already said. It's about just like kind of Agnes being the one behind everything, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay, okay, okay. About okay. her go being on, on. behind everything, et cetera. So, like, okay, so the theory that I heard and I saw in the video was like, so basically people think that something's going to happen in this series that's going to have Wanda kind of break like just the universe, like time and everything like that. And basically yeah. a bunch of the other universes can like kind of come in and collide and like kind of just blend everything together in a way. But it'll be kind of like madness, like a multiverse of madness essentially. But also this could tie in Loki because I guess Loki, the show will involve him going through time. And I yeah. guess in, like, in Marvel comics, there's these people, I don't remember their names, but it's like a group and they're, they're kind of based like the time like p- police basically like they like watch timelines they watch universe oh laws, like that, yeah, yeah that makes space. sense that makes sense so people think that they will be introduced like kind of in in um in loki and that all kind of tie in together in a way but we didn't we don't have any confirmation that one eventually like tie into loki but people think that that could be where they introduce those, those people at and that will kind of play a part in, like in the rest of the multiverse stuff i feel like that could also make a big impact on the loki show because that could be make loki's conflict because we don't yeah. really even know the purpose like He's going through different parts of time, and that could be like kind of like Mandalorian, but the opposite. Like he has a bounty on his head. Yeah, that would be cool. I feel like that would be super cool. And instead of just traveling to different places on Earth, he's literally going through different realities and different. Like he's literally time traveling with a bounty on his head. That would be crazy, bro. Oh, that would be nuts, dude. If Marvel did that, I would literally cry, bro. Oh. Okay, now that I mean, that idea also, is wait, bro, I, am, am I, am I tripping? All right, because Loki's about to fall. We're, we're, we're following the alternate Loki, right? Just like the actual like OG. Remember, this is like the one from from Endgame when they from that scene in when they went back in like when they went to the other timeline and like that Loki. Yeah, escaped. yeah, no, no, Loki's Loki. dead. Remember, the normal Loki's dead. Yeah, yeah, the normal Loki is dead. So we're following like this. Basically, I know the universe is Loki almost. Makes sense. This no, no, it's just the past. It's the just the timeline. past. Oh, okay, I okay, okay, okay. So remember, when the past really changes, know. every single time the past changes, a new reality or new like offspring is created. You know what I'm saying? So like, say like, for example, like this is, let's say this is our regular Avengers Endgame timeline, right? This is the one yeah. where they went back. This is where the Avengers all went back. Say the end of this marker is where we saw uh, Loki pick up the time cube and time travel. This is his timelines mm. going a different direction, but this one is still moving forward. So it just split off into two different ones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, like an offspring. Yeah. So this one is still going to go, and this one is still going to go. They're just never going to connect because Loki created two new ones. So my question is when it comes to time travel, I'm going to use this example once again. This Loki went onto this side. You, you, know, you understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So say this Loki went on to this timeline right what happened to the loki in this one did he just disappear because loki still plays a part in every other avengers movie like thor ragnarok literally every other avengers movie that and like well yeah that's that's what i'm thinking it's like that timeline would be like different from the one that we followed originally no no but he disappeared from here he disappeared from this one and went like he created a new one. So it, where did this one? Because say th- this is the regular MCU timeline. Like this is Doctor Strange, M- um, Captain Marvel, Thor Ragnarok, Thor Dark World. All of these movies yeah. are in this one. But he created a new one. So what happened to Loki in this one? 
Where is he? I guess he's not there. So I think that's kind of changed everything in, in that timeline, I guess, to an extent. But that's the main know. timeline. Like that's the one like well, every I guess movie. here's what I'm saying. I think that when they went back originally, like like when you when they when they went back and they to the, like back in time and they got the gaunt and stuff like that, I think that once they changed all that stuff, then I think oh, it already created a different time. Oh. Yeah, that already made a new one, I think. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. I, I think you. I don't sense. know. I hope the MCU explains the multiverse like a lot better than what they did in Endgame because in game they broke their own rules and like everything. Like it was just so dude, three end game was did the worst job of explaining. <laughs> it was more meant to be like I guess a celebration. Nostalgia, of Marvel, yeah, nostalgia. I feel like thing. coming off of Infinity War though, that wasn't like the best time to like. I don't know. Yeah, like off of Infinity Wars is odd. What just like overall thoughts on where you think the show is gonna go? What do you think? I mean, like this. That's thing. This thing like has really with Quicksilver is like kind of throwing like I don't really know. Like it's throwing everything off, and I think that's where most people like were, like at, at this moment like. We're kind of like not to me theories really like going around and stuff like that. It's just people just waiting for next week at this point because this is just man, this is. Thunder. Do you think they're gonna continue? Because the- do you think they're gonna continue next week directly from the ending of this one? Because remember, this episode ended after an episode in the show already ended. Bradley and I had a massive argument about this because he's an oh, absolute yeah. idiot. <laughs> We I was curious. so the 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 credits rolled at the end of the episode and then the show kept going because remember the show never technically ends. Sword can keep watching the reality forever. It just feels like I I really wonder if they're gonna like kind of stick with that sitcom feel I guess because it be not sitcom but like the like the TV show inside TV show because they still have the Halloween episode. Remember, I, I don't think Quicksilver is gonna be like long term. Like honestly, no, I, no, I think, think he's gonna like be in the next episode. Next episode, and yeah, yeah, yeah he'll be no, gone. No, I definitely I think, think one gonna... more episode and he's gone, bro. But that really yeah. makes me doubt. Hopefully, I don't think next week's gonna be the Halloween episode, but it might be. I'm not sure. Another thing I was thinking about, like, if um, if their kids keep aging up, won't we basically like see them in, like their final form, like probably like, by the end of the show, like they're like teenage, like virgins, basically, like they're young. Oh, but they can virgins, remember. No, they can choose when they like grow up. Remember? Yeah, I guess Wanda... if, like they keep doing it, like they're already like almost teenagers now. A dog. It felt like her kids were trying to get her to admit something. Like yeah, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. I think it's probably Agnes. Like she used that yeah. as a way to like mess with Wanda a little bit. But I don't know, bro, dude. But it feels like it feels like Wicked and Speed aren't gonna play a big role right now to me. Like from what I can tell, I really don't think they're gonna be playing a big role. You have anything else you want to add on, bro? Oh, I mean, that's that is it, man. Like now, I just want to go back and like watch like Days of Future Past from X Men to watch that Quicksilver scene again. <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> I'm not yeah, even gonna lie. Crazy. I haven't seen I haven't seen the excellent movie like the the regular like the not I haven't seen like any of the newer ones, um, but I haven't seen like the older X movies in a long time, bro. I mean that's it for this episode, guys. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like rating down below. All of Brantley's social medias will be linked. The first the first three four links in the description down below. You guys can go check him out on all the social media platforms. If you guys enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below some stuff you guys want us to talk about in the next episode of Third Thoughts. As I was saying, guys, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.